What's poppin' everybody? As you can tell, this is my morning voice. This is like, this is this is the voice. Uh, anyway, we're doing a day in the life. Day in the life, this is like a pretty normal day uh, in my life. It's a Tuesday, so I just woke up. It's 7.50. Um, we're about to go to the gym. Well, I gotta go grab a Celsius first, because I'm out of Celsius. And then I walk over here usually, and I like check how the weather is, and it's a beautiful fucking day. Um, so, probably go to the gym, probably take the Jeep, pick up Abe, and then we're gonna go to the beach and snorkel and shit, because I just got this new snorkel. Literally, look at this snorkel, bro. This shit is elite. This is the most elite snorkel you, I've ever seen. I don't know about you guys. I'm gonna bring the drone and the GoPro. So, yeah, let's, let's have a fucking day. Let's get into it. So, I, I do take creatine every day. I just take like the most normal ass creatine ever. And I dry scoop it because uh, fuck, fuck putting it in your water. I also take sea moss every day. Google it. I don't, I know there's like 93 out of the, some, uh, there's a lot of minerals in it. It's really good for you and it's natural. So, check it out. This a little fit check. This is literally just what I wear every day. A shirt, short, and sandals, and a bucket hat. So basically every single day, there is just mad traffic to get out of my to get out of my garage, but I don't really care because we got lane eight to enjoy, and there's no complaints. You know? Never, I'm never complaining because like there's there's always something to be happy about. Obviously, there's always something you can complain about, but there's always something to be happy about. So the choice is obvious. Why don't why don't you choose that thing to be happy about rather than the, the million things we can complain about? You know. All right, let's let's see how bad it is out here. Oh yeah. Oh, the vibes are great though. Great vibes. Great vibes. All right, let's see if we can get out of here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this dude's box says Siemens Energy. So I saw this new flavor. I think this is it, yep. Strawberry guava. Let's try it out. One sip, everyone knows the rules. And also Celsius. If, if Celsius, if you're seeing this, you guys owe me a sponsorship at this point in time. I have promoted your guys' shit for so long. I got the blue check on Instagram now. Come on, like what's, what's going on? Again, I might not have hundreds of thousands, but my followers are cool. They actually, they actually like listen to the things I, I preach. So, Celsius, if you don't give me a sponsorship within the next two weeks, I, I'm gonna have to switch over to like iced tea. The strawberry guava one, I don't really know about. You know, I think that one tastes a little too too fake to me. But, you know, I'm addicted to them, so. <laughs> I'm not addicted to Celsius, but it's caffeine in general, so. But I'm aware, you know, being self-aware and like knowing that I'm addicted is, I, I think the most important part. So knowing that I'm probably gonna have to like, well, I can go days without it. And then like, the day as I go without it, like I have a mild headache, but nothing like crazy. It's just like, I'm like, yeah, my body definitely doesn't have caffeine right now, but like, I'm, I'm fine, you know what I mean? And then every morning before the gym, while I'm drinking my Celsius, before I go into the gym, I like check my Twitter, respond to some Instagram DMs. And then right here, right here really makes or break how my workout's gonna go. You know what I mean? Like right, right here is basically where I determine, you determine how your workout will be. It's like right now, this, it's, this usually happens every day though. I'll sit here and be like, fuck. Uh, just because you know it's uncomfortable, you know? like. Anything that results in a little bit of uncomfort for you, your subconscious is gonna ultimately try to make you not do it as hard. Like, like it's just, that's just how it is. Like, you can be the most motivated motherfucker to go to the gym. Wow, look at the moon. Oh, wow. <laughs> you can be the most motivated motherfucker ever, but as soon as you get to the gym parking lot, your subcon I guarantee that your subconscious says some shit. Uh, well, I can't guarantee, because I know there's some different, different breeds out there, but this is just for me personally. 
Like I love, I love the feeling after the gym, but before the gym, getting myself to get in there is the hard part. So, but we're gonna get in there. We're gonna crush workout. I'm gonna show you guys my insane back bicep pump afterwards. So that's my motivation for today. Let's go. Let's fucking get it. Here's the pump. I don't know if you guys can see it. We are here for like 20 minutes, but I'm the CEO of Fast Workouts. Cause I just, I don't know. I just get my shit done really quick. So there's the pump. And now we're going to the beach. Let's go. All right, so we just got to the beach. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. But the vibes here are just fucking perfect for me to test out the snorkel today. Absolutely perfect. I cannot wait to tear that. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be underwater for like 30 minutes, so it's gonna be fucking awesome. So I just went snorkeling for like 30 minutes. I literally lost track and dot like time down there because it's a whole different world down there, bro. I'm not even kidding you. Like the amount of different fish I saw, it's so, it's so insane. Because that was my first time like snorkeling in a long time. Like I had goggles, but I didn't have the the, the snorkel. And the snorkel makes the biggest difference, bro. You wouldn't believe it. You really wouldn't believe it. It's fucking insane. Now my skin feels good, my face feels good. But the crazy part is, is with that mask, my face doesn't get wet at all. And I'm literally, I can breathe through my nose or my mouth. So it's literally like I'm meditating fucking in the ocean. It's unreal. And like a bunch of fish, like these, these fish are a little skittish probably because this is the more populated side of the beach. But when I go over there, like the puffer fish literally just come up and like hang around me. But the puffer fish here, I think these are like the parent puffer fish because they're huge. And there's not many tiny ones. Um, so I'm gonna journal on the beach. And then, dude, someone was playing Peppas on the beach down there. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me, bro? It's 9.30 in the morning, bro. How are you listening to Peppas at 9.30 in the morning on a Tuesday, bro? I mean, I thought it was hilarious, but like, I'm just not gonna be around that. You know, I, want, I, I come to the beach to listen to the birds in the ocean, but look how calm the ocean is. You guys see that? It's fucking unbelievable. Unbelievable. So, uh, yeah. Now I'm gonna journal, and maybe I'll snorkel again, but then we're gonna head home uh, and do some work. Maybe go live on TikTok, but yeah. Journaling is definitely something that you should implement in your everyday, and I like to do it somewhere other than my house. Like, I've, I've picked this up, where it's like, doing it in your house every day, like, you feel the same emotions that you feel every day, you know? Like, you go to a park, go to the fucking pond, go somewhere to journal because, like, Different emotions create different thoughts, and different thoughts create new experiences. So, like, go on a walk, sit on a bench, and journal. Trust me, it's fucking amazing. And I'll see you in the next part. I don't know where we're gonna be, but. Okay, we're back home. We're back home, the vibes are, I always have music playing, literally always. The vibes are looking fuego today. Look at these vibes. Absolute vibes, absolute vibes. So now, uh, what I do, let me talk in the mirror. So now what I do when I get home from the beach is I go onto this website called Tweet Hunter. I'll show you guys that in a second. Uh, but I go on Tweet Hunter and I schedule my tweets for the day so I don't have to be tweeting all the day or all day. Like I can just, I can schedule them. So I don't have to think about it twice. And then I reuse that content and post it on TikTok. Repurpose your content by the way guys. And if you're not on Twitter, get on Twitter. It'll help you out so much uh, because Twitter audiences are a lot more uh, like loyal and engaged to you uh, than like a TikTok following. Like if I had two million TikTok followers, I'd, I would never have to work again. Or if I had two million Twitter followers, I'd never have to work again. So get on Twitter, 
screenshot your tweets, post them on TikTok. It's a circle of life right there. So here's Tweet Hunter. It's fucking dope. Shows you your Twitter analytics, what tweets do the best, all this shit. Um, gives you daily inspiration. Uh, tweet inspirations for you. Literally has an AI that give you other people's tweets that, to give you inspiration. Um, and it also, like, I don't really do this, but an AI generates tweets for you. So if I wanted to tweet something, but I was feeling not creative as I usually am, like this, this, this fucking AI generated tweets will literally just give me a bunch to tweet. But a lot of them don't really, like, yeah, they don't really feel like me, so I don't really choose any, but it's really cool. Uh, so I do this for about five minutes every morning, and then I go over to my YouTube comments, and I answer all of them shits. So if you're seeing this, drop a comment, and I'll reply probably. And I get this sand off my feet. You know what I'm saying? For the most exhilarating part of my day, laundry. Let's go, hell yeah. Yo. <laughs> so then it's, it's uh, 10.58, then I go live on TikTok. We got a bunch of beautiful people saying hello in here. We have, how many people is that? 235 people, oh look at all the hellos. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm trying to get as many of you guys in here so you guys can see your name on, on YouTube. Um, but I'll probably be live for like another like 30, 35 minutes just connecting with all the people in here. And then I probably will eat breakfast. All right, so now I'm by the pool. I'm gonna show you guys the vibes in a second. The vibes are fucking unbelievable. I actually just got this book. I was on my way down to the pool and I was gonna read this other book I was reading. And then the Amazon delivery guy, for the first time this ever happened in my life, the Amazon delivery guy came to my apartment door to give me my book as I was walking out. So I was like, wow, the universe really said, read this book instead today. So I'm reading this book, it's called Osh. It's called Intimacy by Osho. I'm, I'm sure it's gonna be similar to the book, The Mastery of Love I was reading, um, but I'll probably end up making a book summary on this one as well. So stay tuned for that one, but here are the vibes. Holy shit. Right? Right? I know. Holy fuck. Alright, so I just read like a couple pages of my book. It was really good. So whenever I read, I like to read like little bits at a time and then I sit with what I just read to like kind of reflect on it, internalize it. Um, and I'm doing that while laying on this artificial grass by the pool. Um, because you, you, should, you should lay on like a flat surface, not like a bed, like once a day. It's really good for your back. Um, yeah, because like our ancestors, you gotta think about it, they didn't have beds, you know? Like they were laying on like flat shit. Beds are man-made. <laughs> I know I probably sound crazy, but like trust me, it's really good for your back. Do some stretching, do some yoga. Um, open up your hips. So that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that for a little bit, so. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna enjoy that. <laughs> All right, so I was, I was just in the pool. Well, I didn't even get in the pool. Just got done reading. Getting some sun. Make sure you get sun every day. I probably get like two hours of sun every single day. Uh, vitamin D is insanely good for you and the sun is healing. I mean, if you think about it logically, the sun gives life to everything. So you should prioritize getting sunlight on your skin every day. Yerd. So now I'm gonna go take a nap, probably. All right, so now I'm having a client call with my boy, Jack Wang. Jack, you wanna say anything? What's up? Hey y'all, what's going on? I'm, I'm an actor based in Los Angeles. Uh, check out my movie, Lonely Blue Night. I'll yeah. Sure. Man's an actor. Dude's balling. Dude's balling. Fuck yeah. Thanks, Jack. Uh, Alright, so I'm just, I just finished, I don't even know if I'm done yet because there's so much info on Big Pharma, it's fucking unbelievable. So I'm making a Google slideshow on uh, basically everything about Big Pharma and how fucked up it is like who created it and how it's all about money basically, how Western medicine, well the whole, it's just all fucked. So I'm streaming that on Twitch tonight. So I just spent like a good hour making this Google slideshow. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go down to Whole Foods again and get some food. As you guys can tell, like all I really eat is Whole Foods because they have everything. So that's like, might as well just go down there. It saves me time and time's the most valuable thing ever, right? So value your time. 
Right, so I, I'm, I'm ending the day now. This is the, the Twitch stream. It was a fucking epic Twitch stream. And we're looking at my TikTok follower live count right there. It's pretty dope to look at. We're almost at two mil. Um, and then after this, I'm going to probably just take a shower. I go straight to fucking bed and wake up at like seven. And do what I did today, but tomorrow. Hit the beach. All right, here we go. We got some people saying what's up. We love to see it. Let's go. Let's go. Look at that chat exploding. Look at that chat exploding. Let's go. I love to see it. I love to see it. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, that, that was the first time. I've tried to do a day in the life like multiple times, and that was the first time it's worked where I actually remembered to film my whole day. So I'm going to try to make that look as good as possible. I'm not the best editor ever, but I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video.